What we're working on in this video is we're going to be multiplying polynomials. So before we've been adding and subtracting, now we're going to add multiplying polynomials. So at the end of this one, you should be able to multiply polynomials by using a table. There's three different ways to multiply polynomials, so I'm going to let you try and figure out what's the best way for you. But the first way I'm going to show is by multiplying by using a table. So if we want to multiply x minus 4 and 3x plus 2, first thing we need to look at, there's no sign in between here. Two parentheses signs right next to each other means that we need to multiply. So we're multiplying x minus 4 by 3x plus 2. So we said we we're going to be multiplying by using a table. So we're going to make a table. And our table is going to consist of x and negative 4. The other side of our table is going to be 3x and positive 2. If you like using lattice or things like that, this may be a good method for you. Now all we need to do is multiply. x times 3x. Well, there's no numbers to multiply by, or 3 times 1 would be 3, and x times x is x squared. Now we can take x times 2, 2 times 1 is 2, x times no other x is just x. Now negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. There's only one x, so the x stays there. And then 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Now all we do is we write down all the terms. So 3x squared minus 12x. If there's a negative sign, we're going to write a minus. If it's positive, we're going to write a plus, plus 2x minus 8. Last thing we need to do, to simplify it all the way, we need to combine all like terms. So we have this negative 12x plus 2x. That equals negative 10x. There's nothing to combine the minus 8 with, and there's nothing to combine the 3x squared with. So we end with 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. And we have now multiplied these two polynomials, 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. One more example. What I would like you to do is pause the video and try this on your own and see if we get the same thing. I obviously can't prove that you do that, and I'm sure you probably won't. But if you want to learn this the best that you can, it will only take an extra couple minutes. Pause the video and do this example. But multiply 4n minus 1 times n plus 5 and make my table. I have 4n minus 1. I'm going to treat that like a negative 1 n and positive 5, plus 5. And all I do now is multiply. Let's say this is a 1n. 1 times 4 is 4. n times n, n squared. 4n times 5, 4 times 5 is 20. n times no other variable will just be an n. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. n times no other n. We'll just stay n. And 5 times negative 1 should be the easiest one, negative 5. Then all we do is rewrite all the terms, 4n squared. A negative is the same as a subtraction sign, so minus 1n. Positive is like a plus sign, plus 20n. Negative, subtract, 5. Combine my like terms, negative 1n plus 20n gives me 19n, nothing to take the negative 5 to, and nothing to take the 4n squared to. So we have 4n squared plus 
plus 19n minus 5. And that is the table method.